Hi guys, this is Captain Namco coming at you today from from actually I'm at home. Um, we're going to do a vacuuming video today. Um, much like everybody else, I do collect Kirby's also. There are people out there that collect these things. Um, I have all kinds of. I have two different generations. I have this one, which is a generation six, which came out in 1999, and then this Kirby Generation Four. Um, it is a 80th anniversary edition. Um, both of these machines here do have the plastic fan assembly inside of it. So, it is a plastic fan. And I would not change it out. I would put another one, you know, if it breaks it, you know. So, and this actually came off that Kirby sitting over there. So, this is Kirby number one that we're going to run in this video. And we're also going to start up the G4. Um, this one here, the tranny, does work. So... The only thing that's wrong with this one is my front axle. My uh, toe touch control does not work. This the top pedal's gone. So all I have is the bottom one. See? But anyway. And the tranny does work on this one. So I mean, as long as the transmission works, <laughs> it's good. The headlight does all, the headlight also works on this one as well. So, here we go. It's in drive. He said crap. There it goes. That bag comes off, we don't want to run. So. Safety feature. I mean, your back is great. So, in fact, I have to tip it over, you know, because the, uh, the toe touch thingy does not work on it. Now I'm going to start up my G4. Now the G4, I'm going to be, I vacuum with it a different way because, well, as some of you do not know, the rear end is locked up on it. So I just run it as it is. This one's got the cloth bag on the inside. The other one does not because it won't stay on, so I just run it as if it's bagless. And it's sitting over there in that mess over there. That was my G6. And the headlight works on this one also. Um, this one is a 80th anniversary edition Kirby Generation 4. <laughs> and it runs great. Uh, it does make a minor noise when it runs, but that's to be expected. It's getting old. Um, my guess is there's a belt in the back end slapping around. It's probably stretched out or something. So... Here's the G4. And this is how I have to vacuum because, like I said, the vacuum just sits there and I can vacuum like this. Close my suction control grip.
Oh, that's great. Best grade around the car we've ever had. Oh, that's great. Very nice. Um, now, that's what I'm going to share with you later on. Probably do that tomorrow or later on, like I said, next hour or so. Uh, I have Electrolux hidden over here. And I'll be sharing my Oric Hypoallergenic Plus XL2. And there's a story behind that, with the cord anyway. But it was given to me by a uh, relative. So... And this one here was given to me by my mom's friend and had it for a couple months. It runs great as well. But it runs too loud to run it inside, so I'm not going to turn it on or anything. So, anyway, I'll see you after a while. Thanks for watching.